Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is about funeral etiquette. Sooner or later, we're all confronted with death. And in this video, I want to help you navigate this tragic event with dignity and respect. First of all, when you learn about a death of a loved one or an acquaintance, it's important to reach out to the immediate family and express your condolences. The best way to do this is through a letter of condolence. No, this is not a Facebook message that says, I'm thinking of you, love you, or a comment on a website. This is a handwritten letter that is dropped in a mailbox. The core point of this is that you have a sincere, honest message that lets them know that you think about them and that you're sorry for them. The format of the message doesn't matter, but it has to be a sincere message that swiftly expresses that you're sorry and that you feel with them. If you don't know the person all that well, or if you simply don't know what to say, you could say something along the lines of, I was deeply sorry to learn about the death of your Uncle John. Please accept my heartfelt sympathy and you and your family are in my thoughts and prayers. Historically, people also sent flowers because it helped to mask the odor of death and the not so perfect embalming process. Today, people send flowers because it's a sign of respect. Sometimes though, people find that it's a waste of money if they have too many flowers. And in that case, what's always appropriate is to have a donation for the deceased's favorite charity. Sometimes they have little cards at the visitation or at the funeral service where you can donate the money. It's really important to never send flowers if the deceased is Jewish. And if you want to learn more about Jewish traditions, Buddhist traditions, Orthodox traditions, or Muslim traditions, please check out our in-depth guide about funeral etiquette on our website. The next step is the funeral or memorial service. It is always a funeral service if there is a body and a coffin. If that's not present, it's called memorial service. This can also be the case if the body was cremated. We talk about memorial service, not a funeral service. The traditional funeral service is slowly but surely becoming extinct, and it's often substituted with a celebration of the person's life and it always depends on what the deceased would have wanted or what he wished for. This event is not about you, so make sure you fit in and you adapt to what's asked of you. A death notice in a newspaper or online will tell you what's expected of you. Sometimes there is food served and even liquor. Now, this is not the time to get drunk or misbehave. Attend a service, converse, talk to the family, and leave. At the service, you want to be respectful at all times, which means your cell phone and smartphone should be turned off and you shouldn't be talking to anyone, but you should listen and participate. It's a tradition at a funeral to have a eulogy, which is a heartfelt tribute to the deceased. If you're asked to give a eulogy, you should think about how to talk about the person in a complimentary and dignified way. This is not a time to talk about the farts of Uncle John or how much beer he drank or what women he dated. This is about showing your last respect to a person, maybe shared memories or things that made him a great person. Now, one of the components of respect, especially at a funeral, is the dress code. Never wear jeans, a golf shirt, like slacks, shorts, or anything of that kind for a funeral, it's simply disrespectful towards the deceased. The proper attire to wear for a man is a dark suit, which could either be like a charcoal dark suit, a navy suit, a black suit. A stroller would work too if it's a daytime funeral. It's best combined with a white double cuffed shirt, a simple black or dark tie, no patterns, and if you want, you can have a white linen pocket square. For shoes, you can wear black dress shoes, ideally with leather soles. It can be Oxfords, Derbys, it can be Brooks, Captos, it doesn't matter, as long as they're black dress shoes. Of course, nobody wants to see your hairy calves, so make sure to wear dark over the calf socks. If the death 
occurred in your family, it's important to acknowledge the heartfelt sympathies and the cards you got. You want to tell people that you're thankful that they thought of you, and that's, again, best expressed with a thank you card. This is a task that can be divided up amongst different members of the family, so you don't have to write all of them. If you don't know what to say, it can be as simple as, thank you for your support, I gained strength and encouragement from you. If people donate it, you can write something like, on behalf of the family of Uncle John, I thank you very much for your donation to St. Elvis Church. A funeral is a very sad event, and it is important that you support the family, that you're subdued, that you understand it's not about you, but about the family and the ones who were left behind. And so you have to do your best to support them and to show your respect and dignity. Thank you.